We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with LUNR stock, Intuitive Machines Inc. And we're going to break down what's going on within these charts and what the data is showing. And it wasn't the only stock pulling downwards today. The overall market and the SPY did as well. And our SPY bot at 2.15 p.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. And as you see there pop you up within the screen, within the options chain, some options even went higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you cannot gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And here we are with LUNR stock. And we're going to break down all the data and what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and bull and bear indicators and what key levels to watch within these charts going into next week. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run today was spectacular beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run idea was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bear indicator at 8 40 a.m and from that moment forward outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up a hundred percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with LUNR stock doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area yesterday and today in the pre-market from the rip area to red bars guys if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with LUNR stock under a bear indicator at around the 870 area and bull indicator that popped up yesterday has now been canceled with the outflow crossover and bear indicator popping up after it ran up from the 790s and inflow crossover to the 930s. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about the key levels I would watch going into next week and what the data is showing. And here we are with it fighting to stay above 850 and it broke through it into days after hours. Now, what's going to be crucial and critical here going into next week is the inflow versus outflow. I would not ignore this. This is going to be critical and crucial, guys. And we're going to break it down in today's video. But when we come over here, we could see why this is the number one short squeeze score on the list you can see it here with a short squeeze score of 98.49 and the short float is 2250 and you could see the short interest change in one month has gone up by 29 percent so something to not ignore there and the days to cover is 1.19 and if we go ahead and look at the short share availability we could see here how the shorts have been reacting 
And you can see that today that short shares have been fluctuating and from the last several hours it's been jumping around several hundred to several thousand but in the last eight hours it has zero short shares available and that's why when we look at the charts things are pulling downwards because shorts are trying to put on pressure plus some selling pressure and outflows are dominating now since it's zero if shorts get trapped on any reversal or bounce back up or inflow crossover that is something to not ignore going into next week will those shorts start to feel pressure or will they continue to tear this one down but as it goes down eventually they'll hit an exhaustion point and if a reversal happens it could start to trap some of those new shorts at these levels or even those that have been holding if it comes back up right so something to not ignore there as well now what are the key levels I would watch going into next week? Well, the first thing is the one hour, guys. You can see that the one hour has the inflows above. It's done a full transition from the dip area to the rip area yesterday. And today, it's come back down to white with red borders. But no outflow crossover. And the last piece missing for a full transition would be white with red borders. So I'm going to be watching that very carefully. But you could also see a staircase effect here. And no bear indicator just yet. This bull indicator from down here at 813 is still holding an effect. And the inflows are still above, sitting at 0.72. So if these inflows continue above, no bear indicator and this bounces back up. It's going to be crucial to not ignore that on the larger time frame like the one hour, there's still strength here with a bull indicator and inflows crossing over. Now, if we zoom in and look at this from the 15 minute we could see in the volatility how the outflows crossed over and they're currently flat and how much volatility there's been here between the bull and bear indicators. But now there's a bear indicator dominating here at the 874 area. So it's going to be crucial to watch if these outflows continue lower because it could quickly reflect that weakness into these charts. But if these inflows start to pick up and bring themselves back over the midpoint, it could quickly start to reflect that strength into these charts. And possibly cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator. And I would not ignore that here on the 15 minute chart. Now when we go ahead and zoom back out to the 30 minute. We could see here as well that these outflows are flat sitting sideways. And a bear indicator popped up around the 874 area. And right now the lowest point of the day was 830. And that's the first support that I would watch. I would not ignore that. And if these outflows continue even lower pulling downwards and start to pull down the one hour with it and bringing it down towards the midpoint and eventually getting a bear indicator popping up canceling out this bull indicator well then the next support below 830 would then be down here towards eight dollars and then below that is the 780 area so those are the key levels i'll be watching to the downside now to the upside if these inflows continue strong here on the one hour staying above the midpoint bull indicator strong staircase effect pushing back up and retesting key resistance levels well the next resistance i would watch is 880 that's where things rejected not that far off where that bear indicator popped up i would like to see these inflows go from red to green pulling upwards and on the 15 minute chart as well and canceling this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator in the charts that's going to be crucial to not ignore i'll be looking for that if those inflows can cross over on the 30 minute and 15 minute reflecting that strength into these charts and the next resistance above 880 would then be the highs up here of 930 and if that gets broken through the next resistance i would watch is 950 guys so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside, the bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and critical. And the inflow versus outflows, I'm going to be watching very closely and carefully going into next week. I would not ignore them as well. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.